Hello YouTube. So I'm back in Asheshe. And Tosin who likes to mock for the camera. Tosin say hi. hi. And so Tosin tell them subscribe. Subscribe. Okay. So, challenge. so this has been a challenge for us. Oh, we have the generator start functioning there. It's already in. Wow, I didn't know. So this has been a challenge for us. So we had to change all the cables. And if you noticed, we went back to the manufacturer required um, specification of cables and we use ferrules. So you can see there, there, and there. Tosi actually had to crimp and solder. You, what did you crimp and solder? You only soldered. No, so crimp and solder. So Tosi had to crimp and solder everyone. So picture doing this um, three, six, times per, six times per inverter. So, so he did 54 in total. And then we took them from here, as you can see, went all along into our bus bar. Oh, sorry, into breakers. So we had to do breakers. Where, where are the blue breakers? So we did these. We didn't have that before, so we did this. We did breakers with um, surge protection, and then from there it went into our. AC bus bar panel. So this has been, this took an inordinate not amount of time, but what it did was it helped us identify an issue that cropped up and we were able to solve it rather quickly. So there are three of these. There is one, there is two, and number three. Is, thank you. And number three is back here. So that's the, that's the addition we've done since we did this job. So now we can interrupt each inverter and we can interrupt each phase, which wasn't something we were doing before. So it's amazing, you know, what you, you learn a lot as you do this job. You learn a lot as you do this job. So what those things is doing now is tidying up the cabling. Oh, the system was offline for, a week, for about a week, right? Yes. And it didn't matter what we did, we couldn't figure out what was going on. Part of the reason why we did that. So when Tos, when a few days ago, I think it was on Saturday or Friday, um, it had been started and then it ran, but one of the phases was missing and we couldn't figure out what was going on. So we came back and we had an electrician come for them to look at the wiring inside the place to find out if there was an issue with bridged wiring or short circuits. And the man who had put their panel, which is this panel in here, the man who had put that panel together, suggested that we switch the phases. And when we did, the faults did not go away. So we realized that the problem was contained within our inverters. And if I tell you what the issue was, it will blow your mind. But you see this particular inverter, inverter number eight, PV switched off. And the reason PV switched off was because PV is what was turning the inverter off. So once the PV was on, it would turn that inverter off, and then it would well, trip the inverter, and that inverter would uh, read a fault, and that fault would cause it to disconnect from all the other inverters. And then we kept getting parallel errors, parallel errors, and it didn't matter what we did, we couldn't figure it out. So yesterday, while they were troubleshooting, um, they decided to turn the PV off, and when they turned the PV off, the system stayed on. And that's how they found it out, but it took us over a week of taking things apart and putting it together to eventually figure out what it is. So, um, <laughs> the things that trip the systems up are just mind-blowing. I can't, I don't know what the answer is, but Tosin and Kaya, they got, it, got found out yesterday and now the system has been running um, since 10 p.m. Last, ni last night up until about 20 minutes ago we turned it off so we can tidy up the wiring. They've run on the system. They charged the batteries for about an hour and a half this morning. And they've been running between batteries and solar since 10 p.m. yesterday. And what time is it now? Three. So it's about 3, 3 p.m. So they've had, good, they've had a good run and hopefully they'll continue to have a good run. The room was a little warm which was expected, but nothing extraordinary. I'll look at the AC and see what the setting is to make sure that the room remains uh, within reasonable temperature so that we don't have the issue we had the last time. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Um, this is about it for us in Asheshe. 
and we are going to move on to the next job. We have a microgrid coming up soon in Benin. We hope uh, we're still in. Well, we're still getting. We're preparing to get the survey started, and once we're done with the survey, we'll start working on getting it installed. We are partnering with another company this time to get it done, so we don't go through this experience that we went through. Yes, we might have experience, but I think it's easier for us to work with someone who knows what they're doing. And then we could apply some of the mistakes we've made to make sure we don't repeat. So once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Asheshe in Ogo State.